Hi guys, <coughs> it is an absolutely, <coughs> damn it, absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top, the beautiful spring day in paradise here at Bugs in a Jar Farm here on this gorgeous Saturday morning, I think it's May 15th. 2021 we are halfway through the slog through the month of May it looks like springtime has finally sprung in upstate New York and uh, so I am off to take this fucking $500 rented uh, tiller back to the shop it is now strapped in to the back of this truck uh, that wind you hear through the background is my former back windshield that is uh, <laughs> no longer part of this truck. Anywho's, uh, that's not what I'm here to whine about. So I was <clears throat> just having my planet saving cup of coffee and um, checking in with the mainstream media news that the fourth biggest story on the planet this morning is about essentially I guess how a new civil war is shaping up in the US between maskers between mask Nazis and anti-maskers that it is now shaping up as if it is not already been the single biggest divisive issue in this country uh, whether or not you want to wear a diaper around your face 365 days a fucking year to uh, perhaps or perhaps not somewhat lower your chances of getting a uh, of getting some uh, virus which I do believe is a real virus getting a virus which is <clears throat> killed 0.002 percent of Americans I believe and if you looking at uh, people under 50 uh, you know your chances of dying of corona panic or what zero point zero 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 one percent but so the battle lines are being drawn and so what it was pointing out I mean the, the main part of the article of course is you know how this is going to play out and what they were talking a lot about was you know businesses uh, people looking for dollar bills from consumers when it's I guess this latest poll I think 59 percent of Americans say they want you know private businesses restaurants uh, music venues whatever <clears throat> to enforce a vaccine passport that uh, and to refuse entry to uh, anyone who does not uh, prove that they have been vaccinated uh, against the corona panic and so this is this issue that private businesses are grappling with uh, you know, 59% of Americans uh, wanting, you know, in favor of vaccine passports. But of course, if you're a business who does require a vaccine passport, 41% of Americans are not going to. Uh, 41% of Americans are not going to uh, patronize your business. So what would you do if you were a business? And of course, here in the great state of New York, 
the mask capital of the world, um, you know, is going to be it is going to be ground zero for these fucking vaccine passports. It's already leading the country, uh, but you better believe that this is going to spread like wildfire all over the country. Now, I guess in Florida, uh, in the oasis of freedom, uh, DeSantis has made it illegal for private businesses to require that uh, their customers be vaccinated uh, against this, but uh, I'm not in Florida anymore. I am in New York, baby. And so I am now dealing with this. So the, the ironic thing about this is now I am caught up uh, as a business owner with this hip camp. So hip camp, it's not a requirement yet anyway. Like I believe it is on Airbnb. I believe Airbnb has an enforced uh, COVID regulations. At, at hip camp, it's now, it's a voluntary pledge you make, you know, that you and all of your guests start to wear masks, not get within six feet of each other and all of this stuff. Uh, it is a voluntary pledge that as a host, you, you know, you, you take the COVID pledge that you are going to mask up and force all of your campers uh, to wear masks. Uh, obviously, I, uh, I, I am not doing this, and so in Florida, it was no problem. <coughs> in Florida, I just said right there on my website, which is what I'm getting ready to do in New York, uh, and, you know, and then I have to submit my web page for approval, you know, with the New York hip campers. <clears throat> and so I'm saying right here <coughs> in New York that, uh, you know, the host and the other, which looks like will be three people, the four, the host and the other three p residents of Bugs in a Jar Farm do not wear masks and have not been vaccinated. I am going to make my hip camp a mask optional I will say just like I did in Florida uh, you know that bugs in a jar hip camp is mask optional you can wear a mask if you want to the host and other residents of bugs in a jar farm uh, choose choose not to wear mask or get vaccinated uh, and the host will not, will not enforce any mask mandates or vaccine passports at Bugs in a Jar Farm. So I am just going to put that right up there as the uh, Bugs in a Jar COVID policy and see what comes back from the folks at hip camp. I honestly don't know what this is going to look like in New York. Now there's also some very gray area <clears throat> that you're not allowed to have more than 10 people congregating on your property at one time. Well, we've got for pretty much four people living here now. And so we're already four into the ten. Uh, this whole definition of congregating on your property, my fucking property is 14 acres. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, there were times in Florida where I think the record was 17 people and of course that was three quarters of one acre. Uh, you know, I could easily have 25 or 30 people. 
uh, at, at my hip camp. Uh, so I don't know, it will be an interesting, an interesting experiment to have a, uh, a mask optional hip camp in the mask Nazi state of New York. I guess I'm getting ready to put this to the test. But anywho, whether it's hip camp, your favorite restaurant, uh, your favorite music venue, bar, whatever, uh, you can look forward to uh, a vaccine passport requirement that these masks are not going to cut it anymore. So of course, you know, I immediately, like, like every other anti-masker, you know, hearing this great announcement from the CDC uh, that vaccinated people no longer need to wear masks, it begs the question of, of how are you going to know whether the, the people that you're seeing without masks have been vaccinated or not. They're, they're not talking about this. Of course, being an anti-masker, uh, I said, well, no shit, Sherlock. Well, like every other fucking uh, anti-masker out there hearing uh, this uh, announcement from the CDC that you no longer need to wear masks if you've been fully vaccinated is just uh, hallelujah. Uh, just go right on about the the same way you've been going on about your business uh, for the past fucking year. Don't wear that fucking mask, and uh, and just wait for people to challenge you. But you know, obviously, built into this announcement is the uh, you know they're just loading the gun for these vaccine passports. And, uh, you know, one more time for the record, uh, I am really not, I uh, am not what uh, the mainstream media and at least 59% of Americans would label an anti-vaxxer. Uh, I choose not to get vaccinated, but I'm not nearly as triggered by uh, these, uh, by the vaccine, uh, as I am by these goddamn masks. You know, if you want to get the fucking vaccine, if that wouldn't, uh, you know, make you sleep a little bit better at night, if that would lower your level of your death anxiety, and and start uh, turning you back into a fucking human. Uh, instead of a goddamn sheep, uh, I am all I am all for any fucking panicked sheep uh, freaking out about getting uh, a a virus that has killed 0.003 percent of people. Uh, you know, get the fucking vaccine. All right. Good God. Uh, So anywho, uh, I guess I'm in the 12% uh, of people, the reason why they are not getting the vaccine. Uh, I, I guess the biggest percentage is people, you know, afraid of getting the vaccine. I've had this rant before. Uh, there, in my opinion, there's no difference. Uh, b between a panic sheep uh, afraid of getting the goddamn corona panic as there is some my panic sheep afraid of getting the fucking vaccine. Uh, I have just never seen, uh, it has never been demonstrated to me, uh, you know, a 61 year old healthy male uh, with a BMI of 23, although I might be down to 22 now, you know, just a, a healthy 61-year-old male who's not a fat fucking slob, uh, I do not see the reason 
to get uh, the vaccine. You know, I'm blaming all my fucking five years of college and my 148 IQ and my journalism degree. You know, my, my training to look at the fucking facts uh, and, and make up my own fucking mind whether uh, I, I want to get this jab or not. Uh, and, until uh, I see one iota of evidence uh, that I need to get this goddamn vaccine, I guess I'm just going to go through life like I've been going through my fucking life. Uh, no vaccine, no mask, no social distancing, and uh, opening up my second fucking hip camp uh, where, like, you know, wear the fucking mask if you want to wear the fucking mask, but uh, <clears throat> leave me out of your fucking preaching. Anywho's, uh, that is my uh, Civil War rant of the day. The new Civil War building uh, in this country. And I gotta get back and enjoy this spectacularly gorgeous day. I'm uh, heading to the fish hatchery. We're going to stock my pond with catfish hoping my pond doesn't go dry in a few weeks like it did last year. I am much more concerned about my fucking pond going dry than I am getting fucking corona panic. I'm having dry pond panic. Anyway, get out there and enjoy the water in your pond before it goes dry. Bye guys.